Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Shanika and this is day 10, our final day in the Sunrise to Sunset Summer Yoga Series. Practices that I've designed for you to do both in the morning and in the evening. So they're great to get your day started, get you into motion, but they're also really wonderful to help you wind down at the end of the day and get you ready for rest. So the practice that we have today is a stretchy seated yoga practice. Uh, we bask in each posture, taking our time, breathing, a lot of hips, hip flexors, and hamstrings. Today I'm drinking some matcha. I had the air conditioning running, which I normally don't, but it's been so hot. So this is keeping me nice and warm this morning. Nice and cozy. Uh, grab your beverage of choice and I will see you on the mat. Starting today with the right shin in front to the left, and you can bring your feet closer and towards your groin for today. Take a nice big inhale here, arms come up, and exhale to fold over your right shin. And as you fold, just making sure you're not lifting your bum off the floor. Let's walk all 10 fingertips to the right. Reaching further with those left fingertips, drawing your left hip to the floor. Walking all 10 fingertips to the left. Walking all 10 fingertips back through the center and walk yourself all the way back up. Taking your fingertips now, nice and light behind you, you're gonna push them right up against your hips, really close in towards your bum. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze the elbows together and puff up through the chest. Inhale here, seat becomes nice and light. For three. For two. One, keeping this lift in the chest, push down firmly into the fingertips and push your hips forward and drop the head back. Three, two, and one. Very gently bring your seat back to the floor and we'll repeat this on the other side. So let's bring the left shin in front. Again, feet can come a little bit closer in towards your groin. Inhale to lengthen up. And exhale to fold over the left shin. To the left, really reaching with those right fingertips. And to the right.
Lifting the gates here, walking all 10 fingertips back through center and walking yourself all the way back up. Taking your fingertips behind you, tense your fingers, close in towards your bum, squeeze your shoulder blades, squeeze your elbows together. Inhale here to puff up through the chest for three, for two, And one, push down firmly into the fingertips. Push your hips up and push them forward. You can drop the head back. Three. Two. And one. Gently lower all the way down onto your seat. So from here, we're going to extend the left leg out to the side. Draw your right foot back in towards your groin. Inhale to lengthen here. And exhale to fold down the center, down the middle. So staying nice and low, just walking all 10 fingertips to frame your left foot. Bringing your left fingertips back in through the center. Walk all 10 fingertips all the way around and over to the right. Bring your right palm to the floor or your right forearm. And you'll notice you feel, as you bring your forearm to the floor, feel a nice stretch in that right, left side body. Reach up with the left fingertips or you can bring your hand behind the head. Gentle lean back of the skull into the palm. And let's gently release the left hand to the floor, rotate the chest and torso, but you're still on your palms and we're just gonna rotate around. Right knee become, comes behind the right wrist, setting yourself up for pigeon. Square off your hips, untuck your back toes, and just gently rock side to side. And I forgot to mention, making sure there's a nice long line. Bring your knee to your big toe. And when you're ready, you can come down onto your forearms or forehead on palms to you. Next inhale, push into the palms, rise all the way up. Tuck your left toes under and bend the left knee. So you can keep your left knee bent, toes pointing towards the ceiling, or take your right left hand up and around, grabbing the inside of the left foot. And you're using your big toe to push against your palm. You 
and bring your right finger to its beside you, in front of you, wherever you find the most balance, and gently draw that foot in. For three, you can bring the toe to the crease of the elbow. For two, And one, gently release, bring the leg back to the floor. We're gonna rotate around and we're going to stack the left foot on top of the right for fire log. So the left foot is hanging off of the right knee. Readjust your hips. Inhale here. And exhale to fold forward, making sure your feet are flexed. Gently come all the way back up. Right leg extends down the mat. And the left foot is planted firmly on the floor, taking a twist. So inhale to bring the right arm up. And exhale, wrap the right elbow around the left kneecap. Squeeze the knee, the thigh in towards the belly and gently twist for three. Right foot is nice and active. Two. And one. Gently release, torso and gaze comes back to center. Taking that left foot now to the inside of the right thigh. Fingertips come behind you. So we're going to be picking up our seat Bending the right knee, bring the right foot to the floor, a little bit closer to the top of the mat. Pick up your hips, rock forward, and tap your left knee to the floor. Feel that nice stretch in the top of the left thigh. And come back. Two more. Rock forward and tap. And release. Last one. We're gonna hold it here for three, two, and one. Come all the way back to your seat. And we will repeat this on the other side. So this time we're bending the left foot in towards the groin and extending the right leg out. Inhale here, and exhale to fold down the center. Staying nice and low, walk all 10 fingertips to frame your left leg. And bringing the right hand Back in through center, walk yourself through center and around, bringing your left hand beside your left hip, left knee, or bringing your left forearm to the floor. Feeling a nice stretch in that right side body, reach the arm up and over, or bend the elbow, bring the hand behind the head, and gently lean back. From here, let's release the hand from behind the head. 
bring the hand, turn the chest and torso to face the left knee. Push into your palms, rotate, finding that pigeon. So left knee comes behind the left wrist and then just set yourself up here. And tuck your right toes. Maybe you shimmy from side to side. And then you can stay here on palms or come down onto your forearms. Next inhale, let's push into the palms. Come all the way back up. Bend the right knee. You can very well stay here. Or taking that right arm up and around, grabbing the inside of the right foot. You can stay here. Maybe you draw the foot in towards your hips, bringing the foot to the crease of the elbow for a three. For two, and one, very gently release. Coming to sit onto the mat, so bringing your left hip to the floor and swing that right leg around, bringing the right foot on top of the left for fire log. Inhale here, and exhale. Folding down the center. Gently bring yourself all the way back up, right? Extend the left leg straight down to the mat and bring the right foot to the floor. So you might need to readjust your hips for that twist. So making sure your left foot is flexed. Inhale, the left arm up. And exhale, you're going to hug the left elbow to the right knee. Pull the knee, the thigh, and towards the belly and twist, so I'm interlocking my fingers, but you can very well keep your right fingertips behind you. For three. Two. And one. Gaze comes back first. Torso follows, release the grip, and now just simply bring the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Bring your hands behind you. We're going to push forward, pick up the hips, and drop the right knee. So bend the left knee, pick up the hips, rock forward, right knee taps the mat, and lower. Two more. Rock forward. And back. Last one, hold it here for three, two, and one. Let's extend both legs down the length of the mat and come to lay on our backs. Lowering all the way down. Draw the knees in towards the chest, gently rock. Let's cactus the arms and drop both knees to the right. Good. 
Come back through center and draw both knees to the left. Coming back through center, wrap your arms around your knees, lift your head, neck, and shoulders, squeeze into a nice tight ball for three, feel your thighs compress up against your belly for two, take a nice big inhale, squeeze, 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 and exhale, release, finding your Shavasana. Bring the soles of my feet to touch today. Beginning to deepen, deepen the breath. Wiggling the fingers, the toes. Rotate the ankles, the wrists. Through to the arms up overhead, interlace the fingers, nice long body stretch. And on the exhale, let it go. Bend the knees one by one. Rolling over onto your side. You can cradle the head in the upper arm. And then gently push yourself all the way up to a seat. your eyes closed, just suddenly bow your chin in towards your chest. Take one cleansing breath. So grabbing hold of your knees, inhale, pull the chest through, puff up through the chest, inhale. Exhale, open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> And gently opening the eyes.
Hope you enjoyed the practice today and I hope you enjoyed the series. I really enjoyed putting together all of the sequences and the practices for you guys. Again, if you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, share with friends and family, and I will see you back here again soon for another practice.